And let's look at some of the other classic commentators. Azino Shemayim Va'adabera. Listen, O heavens, to my speech. So, why is Moshe calling upon the heavens and earth? The Torah is generally supposed to be as concise as possible with each word having its place. Why doesn't he just say, listen, people of Israel, and I'll speak? Why is he calling the heavens and earth? So Rashi's famous answer is that he wants the heaven, is he's calling upon the heaven and earth to be witnesses. But just as the heavens and earth exist forever, long after Moshe will pass on, they will be able to be witnesses to the people of Israel. And furthermore, that if the Israelites are behaving, then the Heavens and earth will bring forth their produce and good fertilizing rains. The Israelites are not doing the will of God. The heavens and earth punish them. They will withhold their rains. They will withhold their produce. What does Rashbam say? Rashbam says, "Has he no shemayim?" Says something similar. Far from Israel, im yachtu, to exact payment from to exact the punishment from Israel if they will sin, as is written. As we say in Shema, heavens will withhold the rain. Israel does not do the will of God. Oh, what happened here? My bad. All right. So I don't. It doesn't look like they have an Or Hachaim here. Um. All right. So let's do. Or they they also don't have a Chiskuni, but the Or Hachaim and Chiskuni say say something very similar. And um, that is that Moshe, in a sense, when he was standing, he was. This was on the day before his death. He was standing, um, and the point that he was at, his soul was closer to heaven, and his body was closer to earth. So that's why we each have that part of us that's closer to heaven. That's the part of us, that's the soul. The part of us that's closer. That's closer to earth. Our body and Moshe. He was closer to heaven at that point, and he was further from earth. So that's why he's saying, ha, Zinu HaShemayim. Be attentive of heavens. Has even something we say when we're in front of somebody. It's Shema Arts, and the earth will hear from Mirachok, from a distance. Then they quote something that's the exact opposite, that Moshe said he was closer to the earth and further from heaven. Because Hazinu, there's two ways to interpret Hazinu. Hazinu can be like, Hate Aznecha. Incline your ear for someone that's more distant, and Tishma can be an expression of something that's close. So it can go in both ways. Azina Shemaya can be either Moshe with, was further from heaven or he was closer to heaven. Depending on how we interpret Azino, Sishma arts can either mean he was closer to earth or he was further from earth. So there are statements on Moshe's standing. Rabbeinu Bachaya, however, in his introduction to Parsha, explains something else. That each of us have a part of our soul that's more connected to heaven and a part of our soul that's more connected to earth. And much of life is a choice between these two waging battles. Between heaven and between the side of us that wants to strive to heaven, between that spiritual side. Doing what we know we should do, doing what's better for society or what's better for us in the long term, doing what God wants from us. And then we have the side of us that's connected to earth having that immediate gratification, doing what's best for us now, as opposed to doing what's best for us in the long term, doing what's best for ourselves, as opposed to doing what's best for other people and for society, choosing not doing what God wants for us, giving in to our physical urges. That's the side of us that much of life comes down to. There's a verse in Tulum that says this, heavens are heavens to Hashem. And the earth is to man. But Menachemel of Katz says on this that God created the heavens to be heavens. God created the earth for God, for man, to transform into heaven. Much of life is this battle between heaven and earth, between that part of us that is connected to, that strives for something higher, and a part of us wants to sink lower. Hazino HaShemayim V'adabera of the Tishma Ritzim repeat. This isn't just an introduction. 
to call into the very depths of our souls. With that, I wish you all an amazing Shabbat.